Hello and welcome to Easy Ecom. In this tutorial, I am going to walk you through B2C order processing in Easy Ecom. Before we get started, let us quickly talk about what an order management system can do and why is it important for your e-commerce business. An order management system will enable you to track sales, orders, inventory availability, and fulfillment process across your sales channels. It essentially enables omni-channel sellers like you to streamline and scale your e-commerce business hassle-free. An order management system can drastically reduce the time involved for order processing on a day-to-day -day basis by streamlining the entire process. It can also streamline your warehouse operations by simplifying the pick-pack-ship process and reducing your labor force requirements, thus saving you on capital input. An OMS also enables you to track your business on a real-time basis and handle order management hurdles proactively. Unlike the manual entry system, an automated OMS can also swiftly adapt to increased order volumes and help you grow your business smoothly. Now that you have understood what an order management system can do for your business, let's move on to discuss order processing in Easy Ecom. Based on your requirement, you can either process orders one by one in bulk or batches. Let us first walk through the process of shipping orders one by one. This method comes in handy if you want to edit the shipping details or when you want to generate a tracking number for each order, one at a time. In case you have a high volume of orders, let's say 50 or more orders per day, you should follow the bulk order processing method. In order to process your orders, go to Orders and select New Orders. This page displays all your marketplace orders that are in the ready to confirm stage. You can quickly search for the order you want to process by entering the order ID or by applying order filters like marketplaces, payment mode, shipping methods, etc. Once you have identified the order you want to process, click on the hamburger menu and select Create Shipment. Scan or enter the SKU codes of the products you are shipping and fill in dimensions and weight details in case they were not entered previously. Edit the shipping address details if required. Select your carrier and then click on Confirm. You can download the shipping label and invoice and your order is now ready to dispatch. In case your carrier partner requires a pickup manifest, go to Orders and select Generate Pickup Manifest. Here, select the Marketplace and Carrier Service. There are additional filters provided for shipping methods and SKU codes if required. Once you have entered or scanned your barcode number in the Check Shipment field, the system will ensure that you only select orders that have to be shipped via the carrier partner selected. You can now download the manifest from the system. The orders are now ready for pickup by the shipping carrier. Moving on, let us walk through how to process orders in bulk. Like I said earlier, this method comes in handy when you want to process multiple orders together and reduce the time involved. In order to process orders in bulk, on the New Orders page, select all the orders you want to process and create a pick list. The picker can then locate the inventory in the respective quantities and bring them to the packing station for processing. In case you require packing slips for your packages, you can download them from the system. Then click on Confirm. If the option is not visible on your screen, you need to go to Account Settings and disable the Batch Order Processing Mode. As the name suggests, in the Batch Order Processing Mode, orders are processed in separate batches based on the Marketplace, SKU, etc. For now, let us continue with Bulk Order Processing. After confirming your orders, you can print the invoices and labels from the Print Labels section. Now first print your order's invoice and then its label. You can later download the invoice and label from the exports job and attach it to the order boxes. Then go to the printed tab and select all the orders that are ready to dispatch. Once you have marked your order as RTD, you can create a pickup manifest by following the process explained earlier. Sometimes the orders you want to process may land in the failed orders segment due to errors like invalid phone numbers. In such cases, you can rectify the errors and reset your orders. 
This will trigger the system to retry the shipping label generation. If you have any questions, write to us at care at easyecom.io. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get weekly updates on how to streamline your e-commerce operations with EasyEcom.